Hi guys, in this video let's test the package dataflow task by using any other extracts related source queries. Ok, let's prepare the query for second extract alias report. Let's say second report is total sales summary by invoice date. So go to SQL Server Management Studio and design the query for report 2. Now let's prepare the file header for the report. I copy first report's header and update accordingly. Only change here is city. So let's change city to invoice date and then continue to the query preparation. Let's again copy and tweak the previous report's query as per new report. Change the city to invoice state key and we can delete dimension table join as column is from the same, same fact table. Then update group by condition and execute. So source data for the report 2 is ready. Let's use order by to sort the result set based on invoice state here. We are now done with the query preparation for second report. Let's update these details in package. Let's copy the query and go to package. Open variable section and then update the variable value. Command variable value with the new query and then change the header value as well copy the header sorry not this one copy the header of second report into the header value section and then localhost is same and then change the target file path as per the new report file name. So total sales summary by invoice date is our new report name, right? So I have updated the details. So save it and execute the package. Let's see what happens. If it execute without any issues, that means testing is pass. Else it's a fail, right? Oops, it's an error. So the error is because of metadata validation failure. Package needs new metadata update. That means new columns data. So our testing is failed. So how to fix this issue now? Very simple. And open Dataflow task and then double click on OLEDB source. Go to columns and just click on OK. So it updates metadata. Now go to flat file destination and go click on OK. So it is showing old columns mapping. So now click on the precedence constraint mapping. Now check the delete unmapped input columns checkbox and click OK. So it deletes the old metadata and now go to flat file destination again and check if there are any unmapped source and destination columns. So map accordingly and click OK. Save it and execute again. So package executed successfully. Let's go to file. Double click on the file to check to validate the file format and data as expected or not. So header populates correctly. 
and there is no rows affected count so the data is correct so the file format and file looks okay right so the file was generated as expected so this is how we can fix this kind of metadata issues but overall the package testing was failed because of manual intervention is needed to fix issues and generate extracts automatically right so what's next let's do small changes let's do small changes in the data flow task in order to make package work for all the extracts without need of manual metadata update let's think thanks for watching my video please subscribe if you like it thanks again